get nice and warm and then we are doing some bits a little bit similar to last week, some bits are not. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So warm up. Four minutes rounds of 10 band pass through, so with your band or stick or PVC pipe or broom, whatever you have, um, all the way over, all the way back, 10 band pull aparts, um, five band, or 10 band good morning, so feet in that band, hook it around your neck, send your hips back, um, coming up, try and add a three second lower into those band good mornings just so you get a good stretch through your hamstrings, and then five down and up to finish that round, so jump into a plank, stand it up, um, and <coughs> yeah, just get nice and warm in your four minutes. Then we are going into four sets of 12 reps each arm with a three second lower bent over row. Probably used to this stuff by now. Um, again, we're taking up the volume on this because this is what we can do to get progressive overload while we're at home. So from here, hinging over, pull in into the ribs. One, two, three, same again. 12 reps, really controlled. Again, mind muscle connection, all the same stuff. Make it work um, and get the most out of these sets. So, 12 reps one arm, um, 12 the other four sets. Really concentrate on that piece. Then, we're going to hit three rounds of one minute plank rows, one minute band pull apart, and one minute max Turkish sit up. So, your first one plank rows for a minute. I want you to do 30 seconds for one arm, 30 seconds the other. So a plank row is just a renegade row but without push-ups. So try and go where you can see me. Um, here, in that plank position, hips nice and in line, row up into your ribs for 30 seconds, change arms for the second 30 seconds. Then your next minute, <coughs> as many grab pull apart as you can, really nice and controlled. And then your final minute is going to be one minute max Turkish sit up, so it's just the start bit of a Turkish get up. So you're going to start with um, your opposite knee and arm up. From here, pushing up onto the elbow, straight neck round, coming back down onto your elbow and back down. Nice and controlled. One minute, as many reps as you can. So you can either like do five reps one arm, five the other, and keep swapping like that, or do thirty seconds one arm, thirty seconds the other. Um, there's some really good like overhead stability and core work as well. So um, one round is three minutes, you go straight into your neck, so you've got a nine minute circuit of those three movements. Then um, final thing for today, um, so <laughs> it should be a little bit shorter today. I know at the start of the week, like your glute and leg sessions are gonna take longer, but glute and leg sessions always take longer because um, there's loads more involved, um, like big posterior chain movements, um, and there's definitely a lot more we can do at home as well. Um, so yeah, little flyer on Friday, um, but you should be able to get some good um, pulling work done in this. So your final bit is Tabata, hang cleans, and then front raises, so you're gonna alternate between those two. So hang cleans from the knee, up into the front rack, Back down, 20 seconds, as many reps as you can do with one arm. Then 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds front raises, then 10 seconds rest. Obviously, if your dumbbell or kettlebell is heavy, do your front raises with like a water bottle or a can of beans or whatever we say um, to do, like you did on press day. Um, so, hand cleans, one arm. Front raises, one arm, hang cleans, other arm, front raises, the other arm. You're going to end up doing two sets of each of those movements um, in that whole Tabata. So put a Tabata track on, they'll count you in and out. Um, that is your full day. Well done for smashing it this week. We'll change a few bits up again next week. Um, and yeah, we'll be one week closer to getting back in the gym.